In Georgia and around the country, agribusiness is growing, and in order to meet the demands of employers, colleges and universities are going to need to adjust and expand their curriculum. Monitor's Mark Wildman paid a visit to Tifton, where the University of Georgia is looking at ways to enhance their agriculture degrees. Agriculture is big business in Georgia, and it is not just on the farm. For every tractor you see moving through the field, there are countless workers and a multitude of businesses geared around the industry. At the University of Georgia Tifton campus, students are already getting undergraduate degrees in ag education and agri-science, as well as graduate degrees in ag leadership and plant protection and management. But with the growing demand, the campus feels it needs to offer more, and they have research to back it up. There's been several studies done, but one shows that uh, um, as far as supplying the needs for agribusiness, the university system of Georgia as a whole is only providing 55 percent of the students we need. They're having to come from out of state, other, other institutions. We want to supply more of that need, uh, need here at home. In another survey, a consultant looked at the Tifton campus and found that students were looking for more options. One of the recommendations from the study was a biological sciences degree, which is more broad and would reach, in addition to College of Ag students, would go outside that and could provide the opportunity for somebody to stud, study pre-med, pre-medicine, uh, pre-dental, pre-pharmacy, those kind of things. So it would allow us, with some additional resources, to reach uh, additional students in addition to our traditional College of Ag type student. Students who grow up in the heart of ag country, like Mark Lashley of Bainbridge, find the campus a perfect fit. Everybody's willing to help anybody. Um, the teachers are real friendly. Uh, they know who you are the first week of class, and that really helps me because I'm that kind of learner. I need to, I need to have one-on-one -on -one time with my teachers. That's the only way I learn. So that kind of is what drawed me here. And uh, teachers are willing to help. Students are willing to help. Um, just everything about it, I, I like, I love the school. The professors who teach at the campus are also doing cutting edge research in their fields. Don Shirley specializes in cotton production economics and believes the campus fills a vital role in the ag industry. This AES degree that we offer here at Tifton is a multidisciplinary type degree. Students will take courses from agronomy and ag economics all the way through plant, you know, plant pathology and animal science, ag engineering, precision ag. So it's very broad disciplinary based. And so it's going to give students exposure to a lot of different areas. And I think companies are looking for that, looking for students and employees who, who have a good breadth of knowledge and good understanding. Uh, and I think are able to adapt to a lot of different situations. Economic development has been shown to be very closely tied with educational attainment. And so uh, historically, educational attainment in this region has been relatively low, or, or at least compared to the rest of the state. And our economy is poorer. This region of the state is relatively poor. If we're educating or providing the opportunities for students to have access to our programs, and we're training more students, they stay in the region, they become our future leaders, our future business owners. It gives more a, a stimulus to our economy, I think, in the long term. To many, it would seem like a simple solution. With so many jobs available, it is only a matter of creating the programs and start meeting the demand. But this is an extremely tight budget year, and all involved admit if it costs significant money, it will unlikely happen this year. This is something that has to occur gradually and over a period of time, and we can do that. In Tifton, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.